Hello and welcome to our third Modalis tutorial. In our first tutorial we applied a force to a string. And in our second tutorial we add comment and change the string property. Do you remember the string was excited by a constant value? Today we learn how to change it and how to save our script to an audio file. So here is open my script that I already saved as my string controllers. I go to the Modalis online documentation and on the left menu I search for the controllers. As you can see we've got billions of controllers and we just used the constant controller on our for success. Let's change it by using an envelope. First, I'll make an envelope to control our force. Below the excess, I'll write a comment. The controllers. We'll change our constant controller to an envelope. So, I'll store it in a variable. Set F inside the parenthesis, of course, my envelope. Then I'll make my controller, which will be an envelope. So I will need to write inside the parenthesis make controller envelope. This envelope will be in one dimension. Now I'll write a list of value quote and two parentheses. This is a common Lisp shortcut to create lists. Inside those two parentheses I'll start at zero seconds on point zero. Inside the parentheses zero zero. Then at zero point zero one seconds I'll give it a force of one newton. And finally, at 0 0.02 seconds, we'll go back to zero. Now, we'll change our constant controller to the envelope we just made. So, I'll change const1 in my connection with my envelope. To make sure you understand what's happening, We'll made a graph to visualize our envelope. After the connection, I'll add a graph. Semicolon, graph. Inside the parenthesis, set F, graph. And inside the second parenthesis, make plot. And we close the two of parentheses. Then I will make a new plot for our envelope variable that I will call envelope plot value graph envelope my envelope and in the end of the script I will write plot graph my string controllers in order to call my graph now I will run the script to see the envelope. As you can see, at zero seconds we have no force. We apply our force at 0 0.01 to 1 Newton and then go back to zero. Here you should pause the video, take your time and try changing the envelope value and adding some parameters to really understand how the envelope controller works. Now, let's have a look to three environment controllers. The axis speed, the axis position, and the axis force controller. Those three controllers will output the speed, position, or the force of our object. I'll plug them to our graph, so it will be easy to understand. I'll comment the first plot and write under it plot value graph that I will call speed between parentheses 
make controller. That controller will access to the speed of the string. One is because our speed axis have one dimension, and this will access my string axis. Now, let's run the script. And we can see the speed of our string. The position will output the position of our force to the string. I'll copy paste our axis speed controller and comment it. And I'll change speed by position. Now I run the script. And we can see the position of our controller to the string. I'll do the same with the axis force controller. Finally, the connection state controller will just output 1 if we got a connection and 0 if we don't. To show you how it works, I'll store the connection in a variable. Set f my connection. Don't forget to close the parenthesis. And now I'll make a new plot. Plot value graph connection inside the other parenthesis make controller connection state 1 that will access my connection I'll uncomment all my plots And you can see that purple line above, which is the connection. As the last simple controller is a bit buggy, we won't talk about it. Now, let's have some fun. Here on the desktop, I have a .aiff file. This is a famous Max example. I will use it to control my string. So, I need to make a new controller and I will give it a name setf my sound file ctrl make controller sound file 2.0 I'm writing 2 because it's stereo and 0 to upload the controller every sample const 44100 This is the sample rate. Now, I'll show you an easy trick to find a path. You open the terminal, drag and drop the file you need and copy paste it here between double quote 0 4 30 the first number is when the sample starts, then the length of the file in seconds, and finally the number of taps used to resample the file. For some reason it works only with AIFF file. You should of course check the Modalis online documentation and read about the sound file controller. Now, all I have to do is to change the envelope controller to my sound file controller. I'll comment the graph. Run the script for 4 seconds and... Now you can have some fun! If we prefer MIDI controller, you can go to the online doc and try to control our string with MIDI value. It's a bit more complicated, so we'll let it for now. We won't see the real-time controller because we'll rather control them inside Max. All the rest, math, signal and filtering, are self-explanatory. So I suggest you to have a look in the doc when you'll need them. Now that we have a sample we like, 
we'll save it to a sound file. In the end of my script, I'll write Save AIFF -F. Then, the path of the file in double quotes. You can give it the name you want. Just don't forget finishing it by dot AIFF -F. And that's all we have to do. Today, we changed our constant controller to an envelope controller. Then, we made a plot to visualize our controllers. We used a sound file to control the force of our string. And finally, we saved it to a sound file. In the next video tutorial, we will change the connection to our string. So, stay tuned! Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can thumb up or subscribe. For any questions, suggestions or remarks, please feel free to leave a comment below. Goodbye!